Hey guys, a new season has just begun, and that means all ranks have been restarted. I have seen that a lot of players struggle to escape certain ranks, either because they lack certain skill, or it could be because of extremely bad luck. Here, I have a perfect gameplay, which will show you what kind of mindset you want to have most of the time when you are trying to rank up in solo queue. As you saw from the intro, although I will be dominating from early to mid game, it is still a team game. So if your teammates might not be the most experienced, you could still struggle to win the game. Welcome to Mobile Legends. Uh. Train yourself and go. Oh, do not. There is no try. Like many junglers. You can take both the small cam and the red buff at the same time, especially with melee heroes. I just need a few more seconds to automatically reach level 4. I'm gonna wait for my ult before jumping on their bot laner. I'm gonna try to lower their mage as much as possible, so it will be easier to take the turtle. Let's see if I can scare him away first. Don't want to leave it to a 50 50 retribution chance. An ally has slain the turtle. Don't have mana to take any more fights. Let's just head back to take my blue. Our top lane is getting destroyed. I'll gain top as soon as I'm done clearing these creeps. Gushion's ult is on cooldown. There's no need to be scared of him anymore. How did I not hit her? Sad face. I don't really want to chase her because their Gushion has just respawned. There's a good chance he's coming this way. Gushion is in the top lane as well. He's probably in the bush. I gotta be careful. Initiate retreat. Now that he's gone, we can take the turtle with ease. Oof, that second thing is will save her. Whenever you're gonna face Veil, move sideways. 
so you can dodge his second skill. Gato is having a field day in the bottom lane, but that false sense of security will be his downfall. I can see Vel on the map, he will most likely hide in the bush. Map awareness is one of the most essential skills if you want to improve your gameplay. I know that Leslie is in the bush. I was hoping Valerie will go for her while I finish Akai off. Very sneaky veil. I'm guessing Veil already used his ult. I might be able to win this 1v2. My nuts. Akai really wants my nuts, and he should have them. Since we are all here, let's just push this turret. I'm quite fed at this point. I actually didn't know that the Lethal Wanderer can reveal this push as well. That's interesting. You can see how I am aiming my ult to target their marksmen. Their mage and marksmen are the main threat. Removing them from the picture first will guarantee our victory. If you can, always kill their jungler first.
always pay attention to your surrounding before fully committing for the kill. We only managed to outplay them here because of the constant movement and good repositioning. Even though I'm playing quite aggressively, I'm still playing quite cautiously. I was hoping we could pick them off one by one and end the game right here, but it is what it is. This is why it's always a good idea, somebody should provide vision in the bushes. I think our tank didn't beat Athena shield yet. He's getting bursted by Bill's combo. I have a feeling they might be coming this way. Let's try to set an ambush. Remember that the priority is to dodge Bell's second skill. If you are single handedly carrying the game, then all it takes is one death for the enemies to make a comeback. Hopefully either our mage or Kaja can take care of some of their backlines. In this situation, Never focus on the Lord, and instead go for the enemy's heroes first. Well. Just trying to poke him, since my ult has low cooldown. We really need to prioritize their marksmen and mesh as well, but unfortunately, I cannot really do it all by myself. Yup, I don't think it's a good idea to dash towards the enemies like that.
I'm trying my best to keep targeting their squishy heroes first. Their Leslie is out of position, but nobody seems to want to gang her. Rough game. My retribution is still on cooldown. We should start with the Lord and see if we can kill them first. A lot of times in solo rank, you gotta take matters into your own hands because you cannot expect to only win when you get the better teammates. Most of the time, you gotta be the difference maker. Anyway, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one.